Hi, my name's Daya and I'm the Content Marketing Manager for Data Economy and we're here at Berlin Buzzwords talking to Daniel Molnar, um, who's the Senior Data and Applied Scientist at Microsoft. So welcome Daniel, thanks for joining us. Uh, so we just wanted to ask you a couple questions, uh, the first being if you could just tell us a bit about what you do at your job and why you like it so much. Yeah, actually I work with Microsoft, but here in Berlin, because we've been acquired by Microsoft because we used to be like a Berlin startup that's called Zex Wunderkinder. Oh. So we're one of the success stories, may I say, of the Berlin startup scene. And these days what I'm trying to do is uh, I try to cover like all of our data needs, moving a startup into like a big corporation. Mm -hmm. I would say it's challenging, but it's pretty much more fun than I would expected. Oh. Okay, nice. So that's always good that it's more fun than you expected. Um, and can you tell me what your favorite part of your job is? Yeah, I think uh, I'm like uh, getting back to my roots. I always count beans and have like a toy stock, as the Germans say, okay. and benchmarking and figuring out what is actually what and how big and how small because I think there is like, you know, we all know this hype cycle and I think we're still in the hype cycle with a lot of technologies, so it's better to be like down to earth on them. So I, I like benchmarking. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then, um, as you know, a lot of people say data science is the sexiest job of the 21st century. So I'm just wondering if you have any tips for people who are aspiring data scientists. Yeah, this is one of the jobs that you actually has to do. You have to practice and just like, doesn't make any sense to read more and more books about it. But on the other hand, I think it's not that hard as most people imagine. If you are meticulous and figure that it's a garbage in garbage out system, you have to know what you're actually counting, doing and figuring out afterwards. I think you can get along for a long time with a pretty small amount of understanding of statistics and if you look at the successful people in this field, most of them are not doing complicated things. Just like making sure whatever they see is actually there. So if you could work with a robot, what part of your job would you make it do? I think robots are much uh, better at patience than humans. I think the repetitive parts and like okay. most likely repetitive parts against like the other humans. Yeah. I think right now I still live in a world where either something is like a black box machine learning which solves stuff or either you do some kind of crunching by your hand. I still miss a lot of things in between when you can have like more like an autonomous agent that's going to help you work. Mm -hmm. In theory we have these things but in practice it's much harder mm. to have the oh. autonomous agents. Okay, cool. And last question. Um, so, if a tornado was about to hit your house, I'm just wondering what you would save. Would you save your smartphone or your virtual reality glasses? I think as far as the virtual reality glasses still make me nauseated, I, I opt for the phone, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks.